Osceola County working to keep students safe, especially if they ride the school bus to school. And Fox 35's Randy Hildreth shows us how students will have some new tech on board their buses. When those buses roll out in really just a few weeks, it'll have that upgraded technology on each bus and the district says it'll help them as they transport roughly 23,000 students each day. So I want you to take a look at your screen. This is a look at how the technology works in action. So when a child gets on the bus, they will use a student ID to tap it on the tablet installed in each bus and then tap it on their way off the bus. And the district says this will help them account for all of the students who ride the bus. Make sure that a student is not getting onto the wrong bus or getting off off at the wrong stop and it'll also help them make sure that they know how many students are riding the bus so that they can submit that information for state funding. Now they do roll this out on the first day of school but your student won't be kicked off the bus if they don't have their student ID. They know that this is the start of the school year and students and families are still getting adjusted, but they do want you to practice this with your child because because they say eventually this will be mandatory to ride school buses with Osceola County Public Schools. As the district rolls out this new technology, they are still looking for bus drivers. In fact, there is a job fair coming up July 26th here at the Transportation Depot in Kissimmee from 8 a.m. until 12 p.m. If you're looking for a job, starting pay starts at $16.50 an hour. In Osceola County, Randy Hildreth, Fox 35 News.